Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. Bitcoin breaking news. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Can we sing the don't you know, pump it up? Wait, wait, wait. Let's get to Bitcoin to 100,000 and then, then we'll sing it. Then we'll sing it. <laughs> so Bitcoin is having a great day, almost at 81,000 right now. We'll check that out in just a second. But what's interesting is the whole market is shaking and baking. We got a lot of big movers today, 25%, 30%. It seems the Trump effect is in full force. Plus, this is usually the time where things start to get froggy. So it's a accumulation of very good things are really moving the market. Uh, and so uh, let's get into it. Beautiful smile. Smash the like button. Bitcoin sitting at 80,833, up 5.4% on the day. Slice through the resistance level, slice through the all time, previous all time highs, uh, and continuing. Um, whenever you have a situation like this with Bitcoin where you're having new values, so what what becomes the new support and resistance areas are the previous high so this would be the this would be the support right here uh, and then uh usually what happens is you look at round numbers so people will put in orders at 81,000 82,000 85,000 those would be the resistance levels but because a lot of people are probably using leverage <laughs> and pushing markets buys so i don't know how much that would be in effect when you have craziness going around bitcoin because when you just push market people are, aren't really you know looking for uh specific prices uh, so so it, it's really tricky to kind of figure out support and resistance areas right now for bitcoin the only thing we can look at we can try to look at some indicators try to look at 1348 ema we can try to look at um you know the stochastic rsi but you can see like on the five minutes on the one hour on the four hour it's all like really far away from from the, the these uh 1348 emas you could say oh well that would be you know sometimes it will bounce off of the orange or bounce off the yellow uh ema here uh this is the the orange is the 13 and the yellow is the 48 uh so you say sometimes potentially that would would happen uh but here we're having a situation where we're very far away from there so just to do any kind of technical analysis or try to figure out what's happening here only one that is pretty close is the one minute so you can see it bounced off here um and it will probably bounce off again if it crosses through then potentially bitcoin could could drop down here a little bit so something that we should watch because if something like this happens right and we see it go like this then potentially we could drop down to that 80,000 uh, level once again, which was the which is the support. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens uh, with Bitcoin. Of course, we broke through the 80,000. But listen, the crypto fear is not that greed yet. Yes, it's extreme greed, but it's only 78. Probably tonight it's going to bounce to about 80 or somewhere around there. Uh, and it will be interesting to see, uh, you know, what what's happening. Uh, and there's the song here, the pump it up song. Uh, but I don't want to play it because I'll probably get demonetized for the song. <laughs> Uh, but you have October, Moon, November, and Bullsember. October wasn't that great. Uh, we were a little bit disappointed. So far, Moon, November has been pretty good, uh, and we'll continue to see what's happening. We are entering the the parabolic phase of the cycle. Uh, the, the, the amount of time that has passed since the halving is enough that we will be in the parabolic phase. And think about it, right? Oh, I didn't want the calculator. Technical difficulty. <laughs> Think about it. The only um, we're only at the beginning, right? And it's Sunday, Sunday fun day. So there's no stock market, meaning that there's no Bitcoin ETFs being bought today. So that means that no no BlackRock buying, no Fidelity buying, and moreover, we still have Bitcoin options to be in, introduced on these Bitcoin ETFs. So it can get even more crazy and even more volatile. Buckle up for, for a wild ride here in the crypto market. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. And in 2017, it took eight weeks of upside into price discovery before Bitcoin experienced any sort of deeper pullback. In 2021 cycle, Bitcoin rallied four weeks into price discovery before a deeper pullback. It's only one week right now. So we could see maybe even three or four weeks here before we see a meaningful pullback right and it might even be to 100,000 but right if you're new to the channel i know a lot of people are coming suddenly into crypto but we're not even there yet but if you're new to the channel i am cautious 
because I know that anything can happen. I've experienced a lot in my life uh, and I've seen things flip on a dime. Um, so I know that unless, until we get to 100,000 where I really think that people are going to start taking an interest, maybe even after Thanksgiving, because if things pump into Thanksgiving, a lot of people go home for the holidays, talk to their family about crypto <laughs> once again, right? Uh, and uh, they're saying, hey, uh, you know, uncle, hey, grandma, right? Uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin is pumping again, right? Oh, you with your Bitcoin, right? Uh, and maybe a lot of people will get exposed again to crypto and to Bitcoin over the Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. And maybe after that, we see a pump to 100,000. But I still think that um, until we get to 100,000, I'm still a little bit skeptical about the market because I have seen things like this happen. I have seen pullbacks before, and I'm always cautious um, about that. Of course, not financial advice. You should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. I don't know if things are going up or down or sideways. I just can look at what's happened in the past and try to figure out what's going to happen in the future from you know technical analysis, from world things. We still have the whole Iran-Israel situation. Will they attack? Won't they attack? Um, Maybe since Trump won, they won't. Who knows? Uh, but uh, it's going to be a very interesting situation over the next few weeks. So that's still a monkey on our shoulders. And you have to be careful with that because if that happens, the market could sell off. I've, I've experienced I was leveraged a while back when that happened and I got uh, stopped out there. I lost a, a nice amount of money. Um, of course, today, people are making a lot of uh, money with leverage. If you are interested, our partner Marjex will give the opportunity to use leverage to go long, to go short. Uh, for Bitcoin, you can do 100x. That's a little bit too much for me, but... <laughs> Uh, one percent up or down, you, you know, it's a hundred percent, so you can get liquidated fast. Uh, but you can do uh, whatever you want. Link is in the description down below. No KYC, you'll get some bonuses if you use my link. So, thank you for that. Link is in the description down below. But please, 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 please trade responsibly. I made a lot of money with uh, with leverage, but I've also lost a lot of money as well. So, please, please, please trade responsibly. Despite Bitcoin going through 80,000 today, retail is still isn't paying attention just until they wake up. 100,000 will come quicker than you think. We talked about this, how the YouTube views would pop. My YouTube views popped today in the first video where we talked uh, this morning. But also, Miles, uh, you can see he's uh, 5,000 uh, more than usual. So there's 5,000 more people interested than usual. But these, for the most part, are people like you that are maybe interested in crypto but have disconnect yourself for the past few um, months just because it's been a little bit stuck and we, it hasn't seen a lot of action and, and it was kind of boring right the the new retail is not even here yet so we still have all these new retail people that are potentially coming into the market uh, and that just makes me excited but again there's going to be ups and downs uh, there's going to be um, you know turmoil there's going to be hardships think about it just two years ago, <laughs> sorry, just two years ago, we had the FTX crash. Just two years ago. It's not that long ago. And Bitcoin was at 15,000, right? It's uh, what's 4x from there almost, right? 2x is 30, 3x is 45, 4x is 60, 75 is uh, 5x. So it's a little bit over 5x. But that's, you know, in, in what, two years? 5x? That's 400%, that's crazy, right? Um, for something that, that massive like Bitcoin. So it's always about the ups and downs and we haven't hit the parabolic potential run yet. So maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, you know, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know, you know, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it, it's, it's interesting, right? And so far I've been pretty right on my predictions. So maybe this time I'll be right as well. Um, and think about this. We still don't have, I, I think I said, think about this a lot in this video. <laughs> MicroStrategy has still not bought all the amount of Bitcoin that they still want to buy, right? They're going to buy, I think it was like 40 billion, if I remember the number, a okay, crazy amount. Maybe it's less, maybe it's more, but it's a crazy amount. They're up already 10 billion on their position, right? Uh, and they're going to continue to buy Bitcoin and buy Bitcoin and buy Bitcoin. And I think as companies will see what they have been doing, I think a lot of people are going to follow suit and are going to do exactly what um, Michael Saylor has been doing here with Bitcoin. Uh, and it will be very interesting to see where Bitcoin will go from here. Uh, of course, this kind of reminds me of when we were in March uh, and Bitcoin was going up, but altcoins were going up a little bit more. I think a lot of people are going to be looking for the next you know big thing and throwing a lot of money on altcoins but we have to remember that altcoins are volatile 
So the same way they can go up 30, 40% in a day, they can drop 30, 40% in a day. Whereas Bitcoin, yes, it can go up four or 5%, but if it, it when they go up 30, they drop 30%, it will drop 5%. So if someone is feeling today like, oh, their portfolio is up significantly, right? It might be a signal that you're a little bit too much altcoins. <laughs> and again, not financial advice. Maybe for you, that's good. Um, you know, if you're 16, you can take a little bit more risk. If you're 50, you can take less risk. Some people will say you can, but I don't know. <laughs> um, and so you have to remember that and you have to take that into consideration. Uh, and so it's going to be very interesting to see where Bitcoin can go from here. Um, on that note, as we continue to get more and more froggy into the market, there's going to be a lot of scammers. There's going to be a lot of people that are trying to take advantage of new people, uh, people that are greedy, people that are FOMOing in because they'll say to themselves, oh, I missed out. You know, I should have bought two, three months ago and, and, and they're going to be greedy. Um, be careful out there. I'm never going to contact you in any way, uh, not on the, in the comments, only if you, uh, I'll never say, con send me a message on WhatsApp or contact me. I'll never send you a DM on any social media. Uh, I'll never try to get you to sign up to any group. I don't have a trading group. I don't have, uh, I don't do any uh, token sponsorships, anything like that, uh, just partnerships, but no token sponsorships. Um, so just be very careful out there. Don't click on any links uh, that uh, offer free airdrops and be very, very careful out there. Okay, guys, save your money. Don't fall for scams. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.